So one of the emerging decks in the Marvel Snap meta has been a discard. Now discard is currently running two different iterations of it one running approximately a 59 percent win rate with several hundred games played on according to untapped of course and the other running approximately a 56 percent win rate both of which are running a tremendous cube rate they're catching opponents by surprise and the consistency of discard is certainly making it an appealing choice for people looking to kind of pick something up and play something successful um we are talking about discard today and i do think the deck is actually legitimately good the one you see here on the screen is currently the most popular version of discard the helicarrier discard now helicarrier discard got uh really really popular a few months ago was running an astonishing uh cube rate and win rate and eventually apocalypse was actually nerfed apocalypse lost two power the deck kind of fizzled out a little bit from the meta perspective however although discard has left the zeitgeist as a whole it is still a tremendously powerful deck can it beat turn two loki erisham not always let's be honest with you but it is a little more awkward for a loki player to play around because it isn't just a pure like kind of naturally it's not the deck that a Loki player wants to take, so that has itself going for it, especially if they take it later in the game, which they definitely shouldn't. What I will say, though, is that Helicarrier Discard has the highest cube rate and the highest win rate of Discard currently, but for me personally, I actually prefer, uh, prefer this next deck itself. Uh, this next deck here is just straight up Apocalypse Discard. I like the addition of Moon Knight here. I think Moon Knight is both disruptive, but also it actually helps to activate cards with its new ability where it's uh, going to hit... Uh, you know even costed cards which means that like it's going to most likely hit proxima midnight apocalypse your swarms it could also hit your dracula which is a major consideration and prevents you from just playing moon knight uh, willy-nilly despite its opportunity to be disruptive to your opponent's play this deck has very natural kind of gameplay patterns where what you're really looking to do is amplify the power potential of your dracula by pumping that apocalypse up when you do that in hand your morbius gets more powerful which makes it a good late turn top deck but also collector which uniquely has to be on the field of play in order to gain the uh the bonus power from both kind of uh replicating swarms or kind of uh you know discarding apocalypse however what's notable here is that the power output tends to be absolutely incredible Dracula rep represents a major, major player in terms of power, can most certainly trade into uh, any lane favorably, and when you have uh, Collector and Morbius into one location, Dracula in another, it's very likely that you're going to be able to put up enough points to win either one. It's also worth noting that Dracula's discard at the end of a game, if it hits something like an Apocalypse, will provide Collector with an additional power and Morbius with two additional power as well, which can catch some opponents by surprise. Overall, I do think that Discard is very consistent right now. It's a surprising consistent deck. It doesn't have the highs that, like, you know, Airsham Loki does, and uh, it won't have, like, the exhilarating kind of uh, combo-centric plays that perhaps a Tribunal might have right now, which also is making a bit of a comeback. It doesn't have the incredible turn 7 potential of Mr. Negative, which is also starting to make a little bit of a comeback. But what it does is have a very consistent play line that provides you with very consistent power, which allows you to very consistently rank up and gain those cubes. I hope you enjoy these uh, gameplay highlights recorded live on Twitch TV. So definitely join us if you haven't already. Um, and also, while you're down there, why don't you hit the subscribe button? Hit that like button too if we're going to go all in on the YouTube cringe. What can I say? And I hope you enjoy these gameplay highlights. This video is brought to you by Crushers. Crushers is a real-time PvP puzzle battler that I've been playing a lot lately, and honestly, it's a ton of fun. I've talked about Crushers before, and they've since added five additional heroes to their roster to bring the grand total to 34. Most importantly, these additional heroes give you an opportunity to create new types of deck archetypes. Along with the new season pass, Crushers has also added Gold Rush events, which periodically allow players to accumulate gold faster in order to level up their heroes. They've also added weekly challenges, which pit players against one another in a race to see who can compete to collect the most swords in a given week. I've also got some freebies for you, so go to the in-game store, scroll all the way to the bottom, and type in creator code ALEXANDER, and after you achieve 500 trophies, which you'll unlock pretty quickly, you gain about 30 trophies per win, you'll get 500 free gems, which is the premium in-game currency. Crushers is still in closed beta and being offered in specific regions, but I've got great news. Use the link in the description and in the pinned comment down below with code ALEXANDER to ensure that you gain access to the game for free. We'll see you on the battlefield. I am reborn. We've got a mirror match. Okay, this is pretty good here. 
Because we can Sif and then Corvus Bleed. All right. In the mirror match, not having Collector is definitely a disadvantage. Now, Moon Knight's going to have suspect value unless we hit something like their Dracula. Otherwise, we're just hitting good things for them. So we're ahead here. Could consider snapping. I'm gonna snap. It's risky to fill both, fill the location. Let's get lots of swarms. Of course, Moon Knight gets hit there. Why wouldn't it? Moon Knight's okay. We don't really want to play Moon Knight too much in this mirror match, especially now that Dracula's on the board. Stranger Academy sucks. No matter what we get, we can play. Okay. Do they have APOC in hand? Proxima's a, a deal break. Oh, okay. Apocalypse. They do. That's right. So they favorably trade here. We're fortunate in the sense that we get an activator with Swarm. We're going to do this. We're going to go left, right, give mid. Let's see if they apply pressure middle to some degree. They're snapping eight, which I don't like. Let's see what happens. Now the uh, Apocalypse are the same, but we have a bit of a power advantage here. More mid swarm. Oh, we win. I am reborn. Yeah, we OP some of the IGGs. We OP some in the mirror match. Eight cubes. That's cool. That's tight, man. That's tight. Victory. Good game. So they top deck Morbius, we got Calling Wing, which gave us the opportunity to reproc Apocalypse and make up this difference. Damn. Key Bishop, I've really warmed up to. You know? There's no doubt that Key Bishop is a legitimately good card. Corvus is a risk here. I think Corvus is a problem. You go Morbius here, you go Drac left. Some combination of either Modoc or Corvus, Colleen Wing or something. They're going to Nocturne left. Body miss me with that gameplay. Miss me with that snap. That is disrespect. You do not have an advantage. I don't see it unless you zoo all your stuff. Okay, they're going to hit me with an acid. They're going to get three extra energy. That's why they're snapping. They're snapping because they're going to play Acid Arrow plus one in White Hot Room, and I'm going to cry. It's fine. I don't need extra energy. You can have it, bro. You and your seven cards. Oh. Surprise, bro. I guess. <laughs> Would you guys believe I was a cor correct in my assumptions? They're going to get rid of that uh, throne room as well. I don't love Modoc here, but... Would have liked to have top deck Sif. Anything, anything is fine now, though. Anything we get's fine. Collie Wing's fine. Wing. Let's do this. Hope for the best. We add four here. This, this has to move anyway. This moves left. They play something here because it's Pim Arrow. Ah, whatever. Four cubes. Let's send it. Um, it's not as good as I expected. We're going to flip right. Oh, we won this game easy. Wow. It's not what I expected at all. Discard's going to proc Morbius and Collector. We win right, we win left. Very good. Very straightforward win. GG's. 
GG's. 21 Dracula. Victory. I love the collector and the Morbius reaching, by the way. I think it's awesome. Snap. I'm going to snap double Sif Dracula up APOC. There's no question that Crystal is a bad card. I'm just saying that at least she draws what you want. Crystal has seen play in some decks, was occasionally seen play in Hella, was occasionally seen play in, uh, what else? Um, Tribunal. But now you just don't play her. Like, there's no point. I still think the way you fix Erisham is buff the card's power, make him a 7 whatever, 7 10, but make his entire deck random. I am reborn. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now, obviously, I, I don't actually know what I'm talking about. I'm just making stuff up. What do I actually know? I know nothing. But my instincts tell me that Erisham is the problem. The extra energy you get from Erisham is the problem. Because Loki on turn two is certainly not fair. So maybe maybe lean into the randomness of Erisham a little harder. You know what I mean? Maybe really lean into that. And that's how you reconcile it. Whoa. Got some Wongers gameplay? I'm actually a little nervous. This location should mess them up, though. Ideally, we top deck Corvus here. Maybe even Colleen Wing. We just need something to play with Morbius. Morbius plus a discard. If we get Proxima, she's going to be forced mid, which is kind of annoying. Possible Odin gameplay. Damn, that was so good. Did you guys see that? We're going to go Morb, Corvus, Easy dubs always. Maybe. I don't know, man. We lose left. Uh, that's not that good. Oh, we really shouldn't have won this game. We should have snapped additional times. Well, it's a really big Dracula. I am Collector Morbius saying thank you as well. Wasn't expecting the turn six Cassandra Nova long gameplay, you know. But we take those. We take those dubs. All right. Let's play. Thanks for discarding my Dracula Weapon Axe facility. It's discarded my cards so fast. I hadn't even hit record yet. I hadn't even hit record yet, you absolute savage. Got some Ravona gameplay. We go, we go collector swarm here, I think for sure. We'll do this. By swarm, I mean collector blade hit swarm, and then we Moon Knight. Man, I Moon Knight has the change to Moon Knight's been so good, so absolutely good. I just, I'm so happy they made a change that kind of. It was a little interesting in the sense that like it is kind of complex text, but I, I just like it. I like the change a lot. Anytime a card gets like changed and it increases the deck building potential, that's a good thing. That's a good thing to get excited about, you know? Like here, we're guaranteeing that we're going to hit the uh, the swarms here. You know what? Just to be careful, we can move uh, the meek here and we can move them back later. Finally catching a stream. Watch so many of your YouTube videos. Well, thank you. I know YouTube fam, uh, you know, slowly but surely, we're making our way out to uh, Twitch TV for drops and stuff. I appreciate you guys. It's, uh, I don't know, I love you guys. I love you guys. YouTube's been very good to me, and the people on YouTube have been very good to me as well. Ain't no doubt about it. Move this back. I think we pump the MODOK here. We limit our Harrier, uh, Helicarrier gameplay by discarding the swarms first. Yeah, we got a Wong on Magic, which is likely to be someone who's playing negative but didn't actually pull it. Tony Stank. What a name. Wong the Sorcerer Supreme. I don't think I bought this variant. I've liked the Loki change for the most part. I think I still prefer the old Loki. I don't like the fact that turn two Loki Erisham still exists. I think that's bad. 
I don't think there's anyone in their right minds that's like, oh, yeah, that's good. I like getting smoked turn two by a Loki and then losing over the course of, you know, an entire game. Nobody wins in those circumstances, friends. Um, I've got a lot of swarms. Do y'all like bees? <laughs> bees nuts? I read a swarm comic, and honestly, it was pretty silly. The Ant-Man one? Oh! I am Iron Man. Hate that. Hate I that. That Iron is very nerve-wracking. This was most certainly a negative deck that just top-decked Mr. Negative, by the way. That's what just happened here. Can we win? I, I don't think so. But let's ship it for the funsies. We discarded Taskmaster. I'm shipping it. I want to see this play out. If they snap, I think we leave, but... Okay. They're doing the right thing by committing to these locations. This is the correct gameplay maneuver. Yeah, so we die. <gasps> oh! We won left? How? Victory. Wow! I cannot believe we won left there. I'm not sure if Arishim's healthy for the game. I totally understand the frustration, right? Of playing Arishim and having Arishim feel like he's completely scamming you nonstop, right? I think the Arishim into Loki turn two is like not good. I think that's really bad for the game. Like legitimately really bad for the game. Uh, it's too late to play Collector, I think. I think we just run the Apocalypse Gambit here. Hey! I think you have to make a uh, sorry, not Apocalypse, Arisham, just a straight up random deck. I don't think it can be what it is now. I think you have to lean into the randomness of Arisham more. Maybe Arisham is just always random cards. Maybe there's no other cards, you know what I mean? Random deck plus two, exactly. That to me could potentially make more sense. I think random deck plus plus one energy is still fine. Or this comes over, we're still fine. Hey, I found a rook. Yeah, it's not gonna beat us. Oh, that never stood a chance. Wow. 30 Dracula. It's just crazy. Like, I'm not... It's like you put up so many points without really even trying. Like, I'm really not trying that hard. This is going to be one of those scuffed games, I can already tell. Arisham. We don't have a turn two Loki. That's great. Dracula Moon Knight is so difficult. I still believe in heroes. Moon Knight gets pulled. Oh, Drac, nice. The mystery intrigues me. It's actually grading the rickety bridge for him. He wins Rickety Bridge. We hope this hits Apoc, not Proxima. It's a swarm. Right, swarms are cheap. Opponent snapped. <coughs> Modok. Hopefully, we top deck Morbius. 
Do we want to discard her? It's two extra power here. I don't know. I think you play Proxima. We can't we can't win Rickety Bridge. Yo, this guy chose violence. I am reborn. Well, this is one way to play a game of uh, Marvel Snap. Well, this gamer's gaming. <laughs> no fast forward here. Good night, sweet princes. The Umbaku would have been crazy. I was praying for no Umbaku.